Hillary Clinton will make an outstanding president, and I am proud to stand with her tonight. Calm and unity may be what one-time presidential hopeful Bernie Sanders is pushing. But loudly and clearly throughout this Democratic National Convention, many of Sanders' supporters are pushing back. We're here for Bernie, and we're going to do everything we can to get him nominated. At this point, that is not possible on the Democratic ticket. DNC, we but many Sanders backers just aren't willing to shift their loyalties from the U.S. Senator's progressive platform of raising the minimum wage and health care as a right for all and don't see Hillary Clinton as a viable nominee. She's lied entirely too much for anybody to really believe anything coming out of her mouth, especially for Bernie supporters. Some point to the email scandal during Clinton's time as Secretary of State, but her experience as U.S. diplomat to the world is part of her argument to hold the highest office. Detractors say Clinton is less in touch with everyday Americans, part of the so-called establishment that Sanders has blasted. She really needs to realize how tough it is for people and how she makes an authentic attempt at realizing how tough it is for most people. That will be what she has to try to get over. The big test for Hillary Clinton will be on Thursday when she gives her nomination speech here at the Democratic National Convention. She is unlikely to sway voters who are already disillusioned with the electoral process. At this point, I'll do whatever I can to further the progressive agenda. And whether that means staying with the party, leaving the party, supporting Hillary, opposing Hillary, I'll do that. I'm a little discouraged at this point. The Democratic Party's dying. This group is marching to their own tune, standing their ground, protesting at a park not far from the DNC. For Sue Lee, this year's presidential election is more of an indication of flaws in the electoral process favoring certain candidates. It just shows how rigged the whole system is, and we need to see a revamp of our entire political system. Lee, part of a movement of disappointed and disaffected voters likely to shape this election cycle and perhaps beyond. Francis Coe, CCTV, Philadelphia.